Welcome to the Allegheny County Library System Video Instruction Series Introduction to Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 Lesson 2 Adding a slide to your slideshow and adding a photo In this lesson we will learn to create another slide and we will also learn how to add a photo to our slide and or some clip art to go with it. So to add a new slide we are still on the home tab that is on the ribbon. We want to click the down pointing arrow under the new slide command which will give us some options. As you can see, this was our first slide. And for this example, we are going to choose the two content slide. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see in the work area, we now have a new slide to work on. In the slide pane to our left, you can see we have our first slide and our new slide. And I want to point out at any time we can work either on the first slide by clicking on the uh, thumbnail size slide in this slide pane or again we could go back to working on the second slide. So on our second slide we are going to click in the title area just as we did on our first slide and I type in the word bookmobile and I'm going to highlight this as we did on our first slide and I'm going to look for in this little magic toolbar again I'm going to choose the same color that we used as in the first slide so that we'll coordinate together Actually, I'm going to go to our magic um, undo button, which is up in our customized quick access toolbar. This is a handy button to have because if you click it one time, it will go back one step and you could pull the arrow down to the right and see the different commands that you use and continue to go back we only want to go back the one command and I'm going to change that instead I'm going to go up to the ribbon up in the font section and I'm going to pull down that down pointing arrow next to the theme colors and I'm going to go for the blue again In the section on the left, down below your, your title on the second slide, you can see that there is a bulleted list that can be started. You can also see some symbols to add some other content, but for right now we're going to use the bulleted list. So we're going to click, as it says, click to add text and I'm just going to add in some information about our bookmobile where it is located at National Highway and when I click my enter key on the keyboard you can see that another bullet is automatically inserted And again, I'm going to click my Enter key, and it will move it down to the next line, and another bullet is added. Okay, and you could continue to type in some information concerning this slide. 
by just clicking your enter button and moving on down the bulleted list. Um, we've done enough on our left pane, so let's move over to the right and we're going to see about the content in the right section. So I'm going to click over here so that we are working in this section. And you can see that our dotted line is now available. We can now work over here. And I want to point out some of the different content that you could add to the section. You could insert a table, a chart, a smart art, art graphic to jazz up your slide. You could insert a picture from a file some clip art, or you can also insert a media clip. Um, for this example, we will we'll be working with these two options, the picture and or the clip art. So let's click on insert picture. And what that does is it opens the, the dialog box so that we can navigate to a specific file or a photo within our computer. Um, as you can see, I, it took us right to my pictures, but you can also, if it was in another location, you could look into my computer, such as if you had your photo loaded onto a flash drive or a CD, and I'm going to use my scroll bar to move down to a picture of the bookmobile, and I'm going to click on the picture, and then I'm going to click the word insert. And as you can see, it automatically inserted that particular photo Notice on the photo that there are handles or bubbles uh, on each corner of your photo image. And if you place your cursor on the corner or even the squares, it turns into a double headed arrow. If you click and drag this by holding down your left mouse button, you can enlarge your photo, or if it's too large in the beginning, you can decrease the size of it. And if you click on the corner handles, it will keep the photo in proportion. If you click on the squares, it will distort your photo a bit, so it depends on uh, what you're looking for in your image. If you place your cursor over your photo and it turns into crosshairs, you can actually move the image itself by holding, again, down your left mouse button and moving the image. The green circle on top indicates that if, and I'm placing my cursor on the green dot, you can see that it turns into a swirly arrow. In this case, if I hold my left mouse button down, I can also turn my photo around, add a little bit more interest to the slide, and I'm just going to enlarge that a little bit again, and I'm going to tilt it. So we've added bullets to our slide. We've added a photo to our slide. We've also increased and learned how to decrease the size of our photo. And also we've used the little green button to tilt our photo to add some interest to it. And I want to point out that and the ribbon has now changed and we have what's called a contextual tab. In this case, it's called Picture Tools. 
the ribbon has added some um, different commands that we can use to make our slide look interesting. And I mainly want to concentrate on this section called Picture Styles, where we could add a different look to the photo that we added. Again, Live View will show up as we move our cursor over each of the picture styles. And some of them will give a soft edge, some will give a harder, as in this case a double frame. You can also use your arrows to the right of the picture style area. And what that does is it'll, it can move down one row at a time. Or on the bottom arrow, it will open up all the picture styles. And again, you can see how this really adds some nice effects to your photo, depending on what you're looking for. And I'm just going to choose that one. You can also see there's picture borders. Again, you can give this a color border picture effects. This gives um, a little bit more, uh, gives us more options than the picture styles. You can actually have uh, a reflection below the photo itself. As you can see, you can see the reflection showing up. You can give it some softer edges. So it's all in what you would like to add to your slide to really jazz it up and make it look nice. So we've added um, a photo to our slide and in our next lesson we are going to learn how to animate some of our options on the slide such as the text or the photo and we're also going to learn how to actually show the slideshow itself for people to view.